Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to demote a Windows Server 2022 domain controller from an existing Active Directory domain. After you have installed new domain controllers, there comes a moment when you need to remove a better said demote the old domain controller. Old domain controllers can't just be simply turned off, they need to be properly removed from the domain. In some cases though, you might not have access anymore to the old domain controller. In that case, we can still demote the domain controller. Only we will need to use a different method for it. We will cover manual demotion method in the next video. In this video, we want to demote our existing domain controller which is currently online. Before we can demote the domain controller, we will need to check few points to ensure a smooth transition and avoid any issues. First, check replication between domain controllers. We need to make sure that the replication between the old a new domain controller is running without any error. Use the command wrap admin slash REPL summary to check for any errors. If the old domain controller is also running DHCP and DNS, make sure that these services are also transferred to the new domain controller. Ensure that the DNS records on the clients and other servers are pointing to the new domain controller. Otherwise, we won't be able to log in. If the local server is global catalog server, make sure you hold a copy of the global catalog, else the login authentication will fail. Create a full backup of the old domain controller and verify the backup. This way, you can always restore the server in case of any issues. FSMO rules will be transferred automatically when you demote the domain controller. You can check where the FSMO roles are running with the command netdom query FSMO. In our case, the all 5 FSMO roles are currently assigned to the new domain controller. If you still have access to the domain controller, then we can easily remove the domain controller using the server manager dashboard. Else, we have to use the manual demotion options. In our case, the old domain controller is online, so we will use server manager to demote a domain controller. Open the server manager if it is not opened yet. Click on manage and select remove rules and features. On before you begin page, click next to continue. In the server selection, Make sure that the old domain controller is selected. Click Next. Deselect the role Act to Direct Domain Services. When you uncheck, you will get a pop up to remove features that require Act to Direct Domain Services. In the pop up, click on Remove Features. You will get an error. This is normal. To remove the features, we will need to demote the domain controller. Click on Demote this domain controller. In the next screen, we can change the credentials. Normally, you will perform these steps as domain administrator and don't need to change the credentials. In our example, I have used the account of our domain administrator to log in to this domain controller, so we don't need to change the credentials. Make sure that you leave the force the removal of this domain controller unchecked. Only select this when you are deleting the last domain controller in your forest. Click Next. On the warning screen, it will give you a warning that this server hosts additional rules. If you have client computers using this server for DNS, you will need to update them to point to a different server since the DNS rule will be removed. Select Proceed with Removal and click on Next. Now. We will need to enter a new administrator password. This is for the local administrator account on the server after it's removed from the domain. Click Next. Review the settings and click on Demote 
to remove the domain controller. It is currently validating that whether we can demote the Active Directory domain services from the server or not. This will take few seconds to complete. We can see the message successfully demoted the Active Directory domain services from this server. Now, the server will restart automatically to complete the process. Remember, the server is still member of our Active Directory domain. Press Ctrl to delete key combination to unlock the server. We can log into this server using our domain administrator's credential. After the server is rebooted, we still need few things to complete. First. We need to remove Active Directory Domain Services from this server. Click on Manage and select Remove Rules and Features. Click Next and before you begin screen, click Next. Uncheck the checkbox for Active Directory Domain Services. Click on Remove Features. We also want to remove DNS Server Rule as well, so I'm going to clear the checkbox for DNS Service as well. Click on Remove Features. Click Next. Next again and click on Remove. This will remove Active Directory Domain Services and DNS Server role from this server. Ok, both services has been successfully removed from this server. We need to restart this server once. Let me close this and let's restart our Windows Server 2022 computer. After reboot, let's again sign into this Windows Server 2022 computer using Domain Administrator's account. Now, let's go to our new Domain Controller. We will need to perform one last step which is removing the old server from the Active Directory Sites and Services. Click on Tools and select Active Directory Sites and Services. Expand Sites, expand default first site name and expand servers. Now click on old domain controller's name. In our case, that is ws2022-dc02. Right click on the old domain controller and select a delete. Click on yes on the confirmation window. Now the old server is also deleted from the active directory sites and services. Click on tools and select Active Directory Users and Computers. You can go into the Domain Controller's OU and verify the old server is removed. On the new Domain Controller, open the PowerShell and run the command dcdag. This will check the health of your Domain Controller and will show you any error if available. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.